I literally came back from the movie theater. I experienced Speak No Evil, uh, the remake from Blumhouse. So let me tell you guys all about it. It's about a family who, who are on vacation, who are in, in Italy, I believe, part of Italy, and just enjoying themselves. And they come across another family. You have James McAvoy, who is this outgoing guy. By his demeanor, his actions, he's out there. He's out there. A couple we, we spent a lot of time with, Mackenzie Davis, Scoot McNary, that's quite a name, and her young daughter. With a script like this, we, we get to know these two families. What's so haunting about Speak No Evil is the fact that this could happen. This could happen to any of us. A family, you know, go down to the to the beach an hour away from our home. We can meet someone who could could bring harm to us, could threaten us. Speak No Evil goes that route. James McAvoy in this role, he think this is one of the best castings of 2024, if you ask me. Now Mackenzie Davis and her family, they have plenty of screen time. And that's what I, I love about a film. You have screen time, you get to know characters behind closed doors. And for instance, um, she has a, a heart to heart with her husband. And there's some things that she regrets and wants to forget about while her husband feels belittled, bullied by her in a sense. And we get these, these little moments that make us care for them in a sense, in a way. As the movie goes on, things get out of hand. There are uncomfortable situations that occur between both families. Uh, there's, there's one pivotal scene where they have a date night between the couples. The little boy and the little daughter are being babysitted at home. And by the end of the night, when everyone's all asleep in bed, Mackenzie Davis, her character, goes out to, goes out to seek her daughter in the other room downstairs. Now we come to find out that she is, her daughter is sleeping with the other family and that's just, that sends red flags, freaks her out and wants to leave. That's a lot of that subtle tension is what this movie uh, delivers. Now this movie is directed by uh, James Watkins. But yeah, this is an hour and 50 minutes. A lot of the scenes waste little time and and focus on getting to the next scene, getting to the next scene, because it's a story that rolls out. Right now it's at sitting uh, 7.1 on IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes at 85%, and on Letterboxd it's at 3.4%. I agree with those numbers. It's not a must see, but it's, it's one of those occasional movies Hey, let's go check it out. Let's we'll see what this is all about. By the third act is when all hell breaks loose. We find out some secrets, some behind the scenes moments where that are shocking and you can't believe that's happening. And the young children are frightened. They are to the point where they don't want to be uh, near this James McAvoy and his wife. They want to get away. It's up to Mackenzie Davis and her husband to leave this compound but unfortunately that doesn't happen things go haywire very quickly james mcavoy he goes from being mr rogers to being bane from dark knight rises and that's terrifying but he pulls it off so brilliantly i thought mackenzie davis her role was a standout obviously james mcavoy was just you know up above a step above my final grade for Speak No Evil, the remake, a B. That's my final grade. Guys, what are your thoughts on Speak No Evil? Have you seen the original? It should be streaming now on Shudder. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, plenty more content throughout the week coming up. All right, see you guys very soon. Take care. Folks, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out in the long run. Dark Room Reviews, it's the place you should be subscribed to. Join the channel. It's free.